Hello! Welcome to Easy English at Home YouTube channel. Today, I am going to teach you the difference between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. We studied these tenses in our previous lessons separately. Today, we are comparing the two and looking at the similarity and the differences between. Let's start with the similarity. First example. I've lived in Istanbul for 15 years. Means exactly the same as I've been living in Istanbul for 15 years. The act of living started in the past and it is still going on. Verbs like live and work mean exactly the same when they are used in present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. So this is the similarity. What about the difference? What's the difference then? Let's study that through examples. We start with this one. I've been reading your book. I started reading it. It's not finished and I'm still reading it. So here the focus is on the action and that's why I say I've been reading your book. I've been reading your book. In this example, on the other hand, I've read the first 50 pages. It's awesome. The focus is on the result. I'm referring to what is completed, right? So I say I've read the first 50 pages. So this is the first difference. The second difference is this. We use non-action verbs with present perfect simple. For example, we say, I have known Andrew for five years. Or we say, she has had a car since 1995. Well, we cannot use non-action verbs with present perfect continuous. So, we cannot say, I have been knowing Andrew. That's wrong. Or, she has been having a car is another wrong form, right? So, non-action verbs cannot be used with present perfect continuous. So, this is the second difference. The third one. Let's have a look at this example. I have worked here for 30 years. In this example, we refer to a permanent thing. So, when you refer to permanent things, we use present perfect simple. Here, I usually work in Istanbul, but I have been working in Izmir, in Izmir for the last three weeks. So, this one is a temporary situation. Yeah, it's temporary for a short time. So, I use present perfect continuous to talk about temporary things. Are you ready to practice? Now, look at these sentences. Complete them using the verbs in brackets and choosing between the two tenses. Present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. Let's start. We, each other, since we were children. So the verb is know. We have known each other, right? We have known each other since we were children. This is a non-action verb, remember? Number two, I, housework all day. So, I have been doing, yes? I have been doing housework all day. I'm very tired. So, the focus here is on the action. Number three, I, the verb is be, right? So, I have been a teacher for six years. I have been a teacher. The verb be is a non-action verb again, so you cannot use it with ing, remember? Next one, it's a question. So, have, wait. So, let's see. Have you been waiting yeah have you been waiting for long next one five she you need to use the verb play for two hours so she 
has been playing computer games for two hours. Here the focus is on the action. Next one, I, then the verb here is love, right? So we say, I have loved you since the first day we met. Love is a non-action verb again, so it goes with present perfect, simple. The last one, what? The kitchen is in a mess. So we say, what have you done? What have you done? The kitchen is in a mess. The focus here is on the result. So that's why we used present perfect simple. Let's practice further with pictures. Look at the pictures and form sentences with the prompts given. They've been doing grocery shopping for an hour. They have bought some fruits and vegetables, but they haven't bought any meat. He has been working hard all day. He has wrapped more than 50 boxes. Picture 3. They've been baking together every weekend. They have baked just one chocolate cake so far. Picture 4. He has been making calls all morning. He hasn't returned my call yet. Picture 5. They've been discussing the layout plan. They've made a couple of changes. Picture 6. He has been reading the newspaper. He has read the headlines only. Let's have a look at today's keywords and phrases. We have learned the similarities and the differences between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous tense. They are similar because they both refer to actions that started in the past and still continuing. Especially with the verbs like work and leave. The meaning stays the same. I've been living in London. I've lived in London. Present perfect simple focuses on the result. Yet, present perfect continuous focuses on the action. I've been reading your book focuses on the action. I've read the first 50 pages. It's awesome. Focuses on the result. Present perfect continuous tense cannot be used with non-action verbs. Verbs like like, love, know, be, have, understand and so on. We can use present perfect simple to talk about permanent things. And we use present perfect continuous to talk about temporary things. Thank you for watching. You can find the practice files for this lesson on the link in description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!